Yo, what's up you absolutely beautiful gamers and welcome along to another video. I've not had one in a while where I've sat down and spoke about something. Um, obviously I've been doing the, the best pro club builds and stuff like that. Anyway, the reason I've not been doing videos is because the, the, the PC that I had, it was taking five and six hours to uh, render and export videos. So who wants to sit there that amount of time waiting on a video killing their PC? So the videos kind of get shelved. I uh, got a new PC, figured out what I was doing wrong on the last PC and new videos are taking anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes to render and export which is much much better. A big massive shout out to Kayla uh, who everybody knows in the FIFA community um, who for helping me with some settings and stuff. Um, anyway, let's get into the video um, which is basically how to reduce your ping or how to get better ping for me anyway. Um, most guys in the FIFA community basically just want to know in a nutshell how do I get a better ping or how do I fix my router or, or any of that kind of stuff. Um, technical terms and stuff are just a waste of fucking time. So I'm not going to try and sit and explain that. So for me basically, uh, I'm with Virgin Media, but um, obviously as a lot of you know in the FIFA community, I had a lot of problems with Virgin Media because somebody got a hold of my IP and decided to DDoS it for 27, 28 days straight. So I went and bought myself this wee beauty, it's called an Asus RTAC86U. Um, and this basically lets me change my IP address and stuff like that all that good stuff um, anyway so what you want to do is you want to basically um, for me I go down to LAN and then I go to DHCP server I enable the DHCP server which is yes and then I go down to DNS server 1 and DNS server 2 and this is the important point now you can do this two ways you can do it in your router and when you do it in your router this will basically open it for everything so this will apply to your Xbox will apply to your PC, or will apply to your Amazon Fire Stick, or everything, basically everything will work through these servers. Um, this is a lot better for gaming. Um, for me personally, I reduced my ping by 15, by 10, 15. So I was playing on 30, 40, and ultimately uh, now I'm playing on 20, 30, um, usually lower 20. Um, so it's been very, very good for me. Um, now there is quite a few servers that you can choose from. Um, and also as well there is a test that you can do which I'm going to explain in this video so basically um, just to explain this uh, this was the DNS uh, this was the benchmark and this was me basically testing the best servers this was the top three so as you can actually see here ignore the US part on here it is actually UK servers Cloudflare um, both 1 and 2 which is the, the one I believe the 1.0.0.1 is the top one and the 1.0.1 uh, sorry, the 1.1.1.1 is the bottom one, and then this is my own local network name server, i.e., um, what is provided by my ISP is actually slower than the Cloudflare. Um, so, um, where can you get these DNS servers? So, the best three on the market are in here. Um, so, this is the best three, which I'm just highlighting, which is Google Public DNS, Open DNS, and Cloudflare DNS. So there's quite a few things here um, to explain about this, but I'm just going to try and keep it simple and brief, right? So basically, when you're on um, when you're on this local network name server, your ISP can track absolutely everything that you're doing, um, which means that say if you get too internet heavy on something, they can throttle your connection. Um, they can do a multitude of things, obviously, to you. As soon as you switch to these. You increase your privacy straight away, but also as well you get better ping as you can see here as I've explained about this ping, but I will show you the benchmark test to show you um, that I'm not telling you any porky pies. Um, so the Google DNS, uh, for me, uh, packet loss, I got a lot of packet loss after Google DNS. The open DNS um, was slightly slower than the Cloudflare, and for me the Cloudflare was the absolute best. Um, as I say, it's dropped my connection by 10, 15 ping. So what I would suggest to you is if you're doing it from your router or you're doing it, as I said, you can do it from your Xbox in the, in the network settings, is that you try all three of these um, and see what one experiment uh, experiment about the three of them and see what one works best for you. Um, then just basically go in and play a game. Um, so in terms of the actual test, you can download this, this um, software here on the PC um, and this will actually give you um, basically the top 50, this is the top 50 um, and for me obviously the fastest two are the the Cloudflare um, Google etc is not even on that list so you want to go with those two 
um, after the test. Um, so that's exactly what I've did, as you can see it here. Um, something else I want to explain as well is about um, opening up your ports, port forwarding and DMZ. Um, for DMZ, you should not be enabling DMZ on your router at all. Just don't do it. You can maybe do it on your Xbox, um, enable it DMZ, but um, you should go look up what DMZ actually is and what it does, um, and you really, really shouldn't be using DMZ. And at any rate, that does not increase your ping. It doesn't give you a better ping. Um, all open and ports do and port forward and does is basically opens up your NAT type. It doesn't increase your ping at all. Um, so the best way to explain that is, is, if, is if FIFA has a pool of 20 people and you have a strict NAT type, you may be only be able to connect well to two of those people. If you've got a moderate NAT type, you might be only you may be only um, be able to uh, ping to 10 of those people. But if you have an open NAT type, then you can ping to obviously the whole 20, which opens up the market pool. So in theory, if you've got 20 people, you can possibly get a better ping because you can ping to more of them. But it doesn't actually increase the ping, it just opens up the network um, to how many players and the player base that you can play against. So if you want to open up the NAT type, it's a whole different thing. Uh, for me, it's a very, very simple process. Um, you basically want to go in, uh, I would just go in to open that, and as you can see there, I can just enable port forwarding, and then I can add the profile of games um, down below. Um, I've got three games added at the moment. I would probably do more. Um, there's another part I want to explain. Right, so also there's another part that I want to explain as well, um, and it's the it's the opening the ports or whatever. Obviously, if you've got a strict NAT type, um, there's certain things you want to do to be able to like open that up. Um, for me, it's under one, um, and basically I go down here, and you want to enable the UPnP. And you want to enable you uh, secure your NP and P mode. Both of those are yes, and then basically that's your allowed port ranges. And this opens up the ports for most games, um, and that will obviously help you as well. But the primary function of this video is basically to get you a better ping, um, and opening up ports and stuff won't get you a better ping, as I explained. That will only get you um, an open NAT type, um, which basically allows you to connect to more people which in a roundabout way will get you a better ping because you're getting more people but it won't actually reduce the overall ping and what I've explained to you about this um, the, D the DNS servers um, this will get you a better ping so if you want download that download the DNS benchmark run a test um, you can basically um, put any DNS in there or you can just use the DNS that's already in here and it explains everything on the actual software um, so that's basically going to wrap it up. As I said, it got me 10, 15 better ping. Um, I'm already noticing a difference. Um, so I would suggest and I would ultimately urge anybody um, to basically try this. And the last thing I will say is, if you can, make sure you use a wired connection. If it's at all possible, don't use wireless. Um, get yourself plugged in to the route straight from the router, straight into whatever application you're using, PC, Xbox, um, I've wired the whole entire house, so every room has got a wire, um, and then we just run from that um, and whatever appliance that is that we're using that's connecting to the internet. That's basically going to wrap up today's video. Um, it'll be useful stuff for some people, and for other people it won't. They'll just think it's pure gobbledygook, which is absolutely fine. If you have any questions, you can ask in the, the YouTube video uh, in the comments, or indeed you can ask me in Discord, or you can ask me on Twitter. Uh, I'm only too happy to try and help people. Um, that want to help themselves. Um, anyway, take care. Um, hope you give the video a wee like. And if you're not subscribed already, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. I'm, not, I'm pretty close to a thousand subs. I think I'm on seven hundred odds. Um, so a thousand subs would be like a good target to hit, and that would be absolutely smashing if you could subscribe. So until then, till later. Sorry, I'll catch you all. Take care and bye bye.